Today, I'm going to talk about the changes made in GQ Bluster 1.06 NetChip cloning. First, let's talk about the change in user interface. In GQ Bluster 1.06, there are two sets of display tabs. One is for source and one is for target. Source memory tabs display the content from file or read from the chip. Target memory is used in smart copy function for target chip. It is the result of analyze source file, source bad block, and target bad block table. There are also bad block table display for source and target. In typical case, source chip read from a working TV has different bad block table than the target chip you are trying to copy to. The source bad block table displays in here represent the bad block analyzed from source file or from the source chip. The target bad block is analyzed each time the chip is erased. When smart copy is selected, it will analyze both source and target bad block table and generate a temporary data in target memory to program to this particular chip. When verifying a chip, if there is a bad block table exists for target chip, then the bad blocks will be skipped. Each grid in the bad block table represents one block on the NAND chip. If it is grayed, that means the state of the block is unknown. If the grid is green, then the block is good. If the grid is red, this is a bad block. If you have too many bad blocks, then you should consider use another chip. You can roughly tell by visually inspect the bad block table. To do smart copy, you first need to prepare your source file. This should read from a good chip. Here, I'm doing a read from a working chip. The data read from the chip will be stored in a file you specified. Make the file name meaningful so you can easily find it in the future. After the chip is read, the bad block table is analyzed. If you use existing file, the source bad block is also analyzed when it is loaded. Here you can see there are several bad blocks. Put the target chip in socket and erase it. This is needed since the target bad block will be analyzed after erasing. This chip is perfect since there is no bad block. Now everything is ready, you can select Smart Copy. It will create target memory and write to the target. You can also verify the chip copying by selecting Verify. It will compare data from target memory to the chip. It is possible to display one bit difference, and that is normal, and the chip should still consider usable. Here we have made a copy of NAND chip. With GQ Blast 1.06, the copy of NAND chip is very simple.